Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In this video, we'll discuss how temporal validity can make querying of effective date ranges simpler in Oracle 12c and beyond. The syntax looks similar to that of flashback query and flashback version query. There are links to videos covering those features in the description box below. For the examples, we'll use three simplified tables. The students table holds the student name. The modules table holds the module name. The student modules table is an intersection table. It has foreign key columns to link a student to a module. It also has the start and end dates when they studied the module. This query displays the important data in the tables. We have the start and end dates from the student modules table, the student name from the students table, and the module name from the modules table. In the from clause we join the three tables together and we order the data using the first three columns. When we run the query we see the following data. Start and end dates, student names and modules. A typical question we might ask is which students were on active modules on a specific date. So we need the start and end dates to span our target date. To get this information we take the previous query and add some date predicates. We make sure the start date is blank or is less than or equal to the target date. We make sure the end date is blank or is greater than or equal to the target date. It works but it's quite ugly. When we run this we see that only one student was active on the target date. Jean Grey was studying evolution in ecology modules on that date. From Oracle 12c onward we can define a period based on the start and end date columns. This simplifies queries against the table that use these date ranges. To add a period to an existing table we use the alter table command. We're going to name the period student module period. So we use add period for student module period listing the start and end date columns. This time we ask the same question, but rather than just referencing the student modules table, we use the as of period for syntax. This returns rows that are valid for the student module period on the target date. We alias this table and join the other tables in the normal way. When we run this, we see the same result we did before, but the query looks neater this time. We can also check for valid matches over a date range. This time we use the versions period for syntax. This allows us to specify a date range using the between clause. This returns the rows that are valid within the date range. We now have two students, the original rows for Jean Grey and two rows for Aurora Munro, who is studying physiology and evolution modules during these dates. This is just syntax candy. We've been given a simpler way to write these queries, but the database is doing the same work it always did. We can see this by doing a 10053 trace of the initial as of period 4 query. The resulting trace file contains a section called final query after transformations. We can see the statement that's been processed by the database has the same predicates we included in our initial statement. So this syntax is just giving us a neater way to express our question. Thanks for watching. As always there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.